How's it going guys? Sharblocks here. So I wanted to make this video a part two, carrying on from the limiteds video I made yesterday. Yeah, I'm talking about this video where I was talking about Roblox possibly releasing UGC limited items. You guys know the new events game called Beatlands? Well, inside of the shop, there was this section where you could purchase accessories. One of them was free though. I think the other two were like 80 Robux. One was like 200. And the reason why these accessories stood out so much is because it said Boris Breed I don't know what his bloody name is. Boris something limited items. And it also had a big limited item logo. So obviously when everybody saw this, they thought, oh, these items are going to go limited in the future. We've seen this before inside of the KSI event, inside of the Vans World event as well. The only doubt I had about this is the fact these items were UGC items and not uploaded on the official Roblox account. I'm sure you guys know that. But if you didn't know, so far there is no way for UGC items to go limited. But who knows? Roblox is definitely planning on releasing UGC limiteds in the future. So when we saw the limited item signpost inside of the game, a lot of us really suspected that these UGC items might be going limited. And what made it even more convincing is the mods behind the Beatland events game were literally telling people on Discord that these items were going to go limited. So what I did guys in my video was I joined the Beatland events game and I basically went ahead and purchased all of these UGC items. I bought the dark, I bought the mask thing. I did put a disclaimer on the screen though. I said please watch this entire video before purchasing these because obviously I didn't want you guys to waste your Robux because yes I did in fact say at the end of my video these items are UGC items which means they might not go limited. Honestly guys it was really confusing. Anyway guys let's move on to the main topic for today's video because basically guys we got trolled. I got trolled maybe some of you guys got trolled as well. It's kind of annoying but don't worry too much. I'll explain why you shouldn't worry in a second. But anyway, guys, check this out. I got a tweet here from Lego Bugman, and Lego Man said, Shark Blocks, look, they removed the limited logo from the Boris items in the Beatland event. And when I saw this tweet, I just thought, oh no, they actually trolled us. Of course, I do trust you guys. I definitely trust that Lego Bugman guy. But let's go over to the shop anyway, just to find out for ourselves. There you go. Everything is slowly loading in. And I think it was this stand right here. So, yes. Yeah, this item stand. They removed the limited text and they also removed the limited sign. What the hell? Why did they put that there in the first place? This is supposed to be an official Roblox event. Why on earth would they do that? That is so strange. So yeah, I basically bought these UGC items that I didn't really want for no reason. I only wanted them because I thought they might go limited. Yeah, that's actually pretty annoying. So yeah, some of you guys might have made the same mistake as me and maybe you also purchased these UGC items hoping they would go limited. So now's the part of the video where I show you guys the good news. Apparently guys we can actually get a refund. Shout out to Ketchup for sending this to me. And this is what one of the Beatland moderators said over on their Discord server. So this guy said we apologize. In our signs we miscommunicated these items as limited. What we meant by this was limited in time to claim not limited items. The mistake is ours and we will ensure this does not happen again. We will in the coming week give those who bought these items instructions on how to receive a refund. So yeah, that's the good news. You can get a Robux refund. They are going to be issuing refunds over on their Discord server. And as far as I know, guys, the Discord is linked here. So there you go, the Beatland Discord. If you guys happen to purchase these items and you would like a refund, make sure to join the Discord and let them know about it. But I don't know, guys, there's something very strange about this. Literally everybody knows what a Roblox Limited is. And even if they meant they were limited time, why would they literally put the limited item logo inside of the game. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm super confused by this, but at least they apologized and they are issuing people a refund. I really thought guys that these two items right here were going to be the first UGC limited items, but clearly they're not going to be. We basically got scammed. It's kind of funny, I guess. But yeah, if you happen to spend your precious Robux, like I was saying, don't worry too much. Make sure to join their Discord server. And I'm pretty sure guys, if you get a refund, you still get to keep the items. So every Everything should work out okay. And yeah guys, that's the story for today's video. Kind of mad I guess. Kind of unfortunate as well because I was really hoping for UGC Limiteds to come out. I honestly think that would have been pretty cool. Maybe in the future though. So yeah, if you guys found this video interesting, if you think it's funny that I got trolled, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.